arguing about him. Let's get someone new in here. Let's get a new character. And then last time you got some dick. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that. I mean, I'll tell you my sex position, but I won't tell you my body count. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. No, we're not gonna talk about it. Today, I thought I would finally do the questions I've been avoiding answering video and eat McDonald's while I do it because I really wanted to try the Travis Scott meal. And Andre's here and he's gonna <laughs> go through the questions. I asked you guys on Instagram, so he's gonna go through them and choose them for me so that I don't know what's coming and I feel like he's good at choosing juicy questions. So Andre got nuggets and cheeseburger. I don't think they remember the sauces. Ugh, he's done Bitch, that's the Travis Scott meal. It's barbecue yeah. sauce. That's part of the meal. <laughs> so for the Travis Scott meal, it's just medium fries, Sprite, quarter pounder with cheese, with Gosh. bacon and lettuce, but instead of bacon, because I don't eat bacon, I just put tomato on it. My whole mouth, like, it like sizzles. <laughs> I've had Sprite in so long. Okay, I gotta take the pickles off, I'm sorry. Ew. <laughs> I don't fuck with the pickles, <laughs> so we're just gonna take that off. Sorry, Travis, but um, I love the lettuce though. Like, love that. That's a good idea. Let's take a bite. We're gonna taste test her. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. I just like my burgers with like mayo on it and like none of the McDonald's burgers have mayo. You asked for it, was it? No. Then they just fuck it up. Asking for too much at that point. I'm ready for my first question. Have you been dating anybody since your previous relationship? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone I date is somewhat serious. I'm not like, uh, I'm not going through a hoe phase, if you guys think that. The answer is yes, I have dated a lot, a lot of, not a lot of people, but I've like had months, a few months long things with the various people. I've learned a lot. So like, I've experienced the dating world a lot in the past year and I've just met a lot of people and realized what I want and what I need. It's just crazy. Like the dating world is scary. I actually really hate it. I don't like the games. I'm, I'm, I can play the game. I can play the game, <laughs> but I just, don't like it. I'm a relationship person. And so I just, I think it's very crazy the, the world we live in, the dating world that we live in. But yeah, I have been through my fair share of situations in the past year. So yeah. Would you ever move back to Canada? Mm, well, I don't know. I never say never, but I don't really see that happening. I enjoy visiting my family, but like I would never full time move back to Canada. No. They're all about, it. everyone just is asking you about. It. <laughs> I know, that's all I get. I don't know why. I guess because my relationship was so public. Have you ever been with a professional athlete? <laughs> professional athletes are a very interesting breed of human beings, of men. And I did, ha I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna, I don't care, I don't really care. I'm like ready to be honest in this Q&A. Let's fuck it up. <laughs> um, I did go through my share of professional athletes. I did, like, it was my type for a very long period of time there. I don't know why, I think you just kind of go through that phase, but I've learned a lot from that, and if you're boring, which a lot of them are, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just not gonna work for me, so. I just need someone with a personality, and a lot of times, professional athletes can be like, I don't know, they're just kind of like, they're statues. They just, they don't, they, they look really nice, but, I need some substance. I think they're the hot shit. They're used to girls throwing themselves at you. So I just, if you guys are just trying to do that, like stay woke, cause a lot of them suck. Do you and Alex still talk slash see each other? There's like a lot of Alex questions. Since, well, I did see him in the summer. I saw Penny and um, we don't really stay in contact. It's, it's kind of not normal to like talk to your ex all the time, so wish him the best and we have a good relationship and we ended things on good terms, so everything's good. Period. How much lip filler do you have in your lips? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there was questions about like what I've had done and I wanted to answer that because a lot of people seem to think I've gotten a nose job and all this thing, all, I don't know. And I'm, I'm not trying to hide anything, I've gotten, you guys know, my boobs done. Well, actually, I don't know if they know on this channel. <laughs> it's been a while. But, 
Um, if you guys watch my vlog channel, which you should, if you're not already, subscribe down below. I'll have the link. But I did get a boob job recently, and that's the only plastic surgery I've ever gotten. I have not had a nose job. I just learned how to do my makeup, and I don't know. I think because I got lip filler, maybe it like makes my face look different, and therefore my nose looked different. I don't know. My nose is the same. Um, recently, I tried Botox because I felt like I always went like this, and so I got it in between my forehead. Yeah, lip filler and Botox. Oh, and under eye filler. <laughs> but those, that's all I've gotten done. I don't even know if you should put this one in, but do you own a sex toy? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> okay, if you don't own a sex toy, I'm concerned for you. <laughs> um, go get one. <laughs> it's called the crib. <laughs> you should definitely own a vibrator because it's just good for your soul, it's good for your happiness. Self-love, self-care, you know, you've got to take care of yourself. So, yes, I have a few. How did you manage to gain such a healthy and lean body from being too skinny? Tips. <laughs> Eating a Travis Scott meal from McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just, I mean, I don't know why I'm fucking answering this, but. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how did I do it, Andre? It's just, honestly, I feel like just saying fuck it and like eat whatever, eat what you want, but like know, like get your nutrition and like, it's all about balance. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it was. Like before, I think you probably were like restricting yourself. Mm -hmm. or, like. So yeah, I was definitely restricting myself. I would still eat stuff like McDonald's and like bad things, but like once a day. And it was just, it was bad. You guys know that. But um, when I started working out, like when I went through that breakup and everything, I was like really focused on myself and I wanted to get stronger and like muscle. I was just like a twig, like, and I was weak all the time. So when I started working out, like you have to eat when you're working out to gain muscle. I was like, I don't know, that mindset just like switched in me and I wanted an ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just started eating kind of, I was still, eat, I, would, I would eat healthy and a lot more than I was. Yeah, I gained weight, muscle, I was good. But like everything in moderation. Describe your type. I don't really have a type. Well, I did for a while there. I, I really liked athletes. <laughs> but as long as you can make me laugh, I realized, I definitely realized this year I need someone that's funny. Like, it's a must. You cannot be boring. You need to make me laugh. That's the most important thing. And confidence, got your shit together. But like looks wise, I don't have a type at all. I think there's some that was like, have you ever been ghosted? I don't even know if I consider that ghosting. I've been in weird situations. People tell me they want to marry me, and then they realize they're not good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Introduced me to their family. Do you ever regret not going to university or college? Last year, I kind of had like a quarter life crisis, and I was like, oh my god, like I missed out on all these years of like being in a sorority, or like, I don't know. And I was just like sad, I don't know what it was, but I was like, oh my god, like I didn't experience the college life, and I was like really sad about it. Everyone's path is different, and I was able to like do red carpets and award shows and like that is so cool also and so fun so like I don't regret anything because everything happens for a reason. What would you do if you were a boy for a day? I would have sex <laughs> <laughs> because I'm just curious what it feels like for them, you know? What are your thoughts on hookup culture and online dating apps? For a while there I was really on those dating apps. I had Raya and like Hinge. I just realized everyone kind of sucks on there and everyone's fucking boring, so um, I just, I really like meeting people in person. I just feel like it's a lot more fun. I like it, but also the hookup culture, hate that, like I don't do that. You do you. Everyone's path is different, but I just hate it. I'm such a relationship person. I like dating to figure out what you want, like don't be in a fucking toxic relationship for four years, but like figure out what you want and don't stay in things that make you unhappy. Anyway, that's gonna be it for the video. <laughs> that was really good. I'm very full. I feel great. I'm very happy. Satisfied. Very satisfied. I hope you guys are satisfied with this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I love you guys and I will see you very, very soon because I'm gonna film a house tour in my new house. Yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.